Hello everyone and how is it going? So in today's video I'm here to do another what I like about video. I haven't done one in quite a while, maybe about maybe a month or a little bit longer than that. I've been so caught up in traveling, vlogging, and doing videos for gaming, and doing so many other things that it slipped through the cracks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we didn't get to that video, but today we are. Mm. Today's topic is Netflix. I love Netflix and I'm sure a lot of other people love Netflix. That's probably why they're so successful. Um, recently Crave is suffering um, because they're not getting as many customers as they'd hoped and they're actually reducing the prices of their rates or as far as I know, to my knowledge, Show Me has actually gone out of business. I didn't think that it would take very long for them to go out of business, to be honest. I mean, you're, you're competing with a company that's been around for 1996 or 1998. I can't remember how long Netflix was around for. It's, it's almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. Um, but yeah, you're competing with a company that's been around for 20 years? And you're only just starting now? I don't think that you're going to get very far. But go ahead, go tr try, try. You might get somewhere, but I highly doubt it. The other thing that I really do like about Netflix is the fact that you can download episodes onto Netflix and you can watch them on the go. It's been really, really good for people who like to travel on planes, on buses, on boats. If you're going on a long trip, and it's time consuming and you need something to do, it's definitely worthwhile. It's definitely nice having. Um, I've definitely used it. Um, I think it's really, really good, convenient. And you basically go to my downloads and there you are. You, you have it. You have your um, downloads right there in your, in your thing and you just watch them. Netflix has always had a lot of criticism from people for the fact that the um, their, their service uses a lot of data and I'm not gonna lie that watching Netflix for one hour and I used to have an Android phone and you could see how much Wi-Fi that that device was using and you'd use a lot of Wi-Fi. It would be using upwards of four to five gigabytes of Wi-Fi per hour for HD streaming. So it was really, really eating through the data. It was definitely not something that people were impressed about when they received their internet bills because not everybody is on an unlimited internet package and people were quite surprised to see that it was using that much data of them of their of of their internet plan but uh other than that though i think netflix is a great place to um find all sorts of stuff you can find your all of the your favorite tv shows and your movies i think it's a really good Thing to start and most people think that you need a credit card to start Netflix now you can actually go to a store and pick up prepaid cards for six months four months 12 months eight months whatever the case may be which is really good because I feel like a lot of people out there that don't have credit cards are missing out on the opportunity of enjoying Netflix so they either have to get a friend that is kind enough to give them their password so that they can log on to their account or they just go without Netflix um, but now that they've added that feature and I think a lot more people are included in the picture and I they did it for money they did it because they want to accommodate to more people they want to come accommodate to people who want to buy Netflix but don't want to put it on their credit card that's everything that I want to talk about in this video um I hope that you did enjoy it please like the video it lets me know that you are enjoying the videos and uh I will see you guys in the next video and be sure to check out the video that I did before which was the hot sauce challenge which was the worst three and a half minutes of my life possibly but you can go check that out I will put that on the end screen so you can go check that out so I'll see you guys then like companies are sometimes a little bit more ahead of Apple I mean I mean, the Samsung already has wireless charging. I mean, it had wireless charging since the S4, and now we're on the S7, and the iPhone doesn't even have wireless charging. I mean, like, I feel like we're behind the times. I really do. It's a basic expectation for the iPhone to have wireless charging by now. I mean, we've been waiting a long time. We've been waiting patiently, and it's still not here. 